Hello and welcome to xfactor.boilsports.com and by God is the X Factor already plenty of controversy. Frankie Kokoza should be at home, what he does best sitting on his armchair <laughs> and in fairness I think new vibe should have been given one more chance. Gary Barlow, lost all respect for you pal, shocking, shocking, shocking. Nicola, we're going to look now, as I said, plenty of controversy already in this year's X Factor and I'm going to start not by who's going to win next, let's go who's going to get kicked off the show next because that's what really people are looking forward to. Is Frankie the favourite? This week after I could not believe my eyes when I seen him being saved by three different judges last yeah. week. What's going on? Surely everyone would think Frankie is the favourite to go, but no, he's not. He's 13 to 2, and I think that is a bet if ever there was one. 13 to 2 to be voted off. No, yeah. Unless Gary picks a song, Nicola, that on the first week suited his voice will he go back to being safe with Frankie see the fact that he's such a ladies man that's where we thought maybe some of the votes would come but yeah as we see all over the papers Frankie's already being linked with all these hot hot young tossies he's got the tattoos on his um, bum to prove that um, he I think he might have a, a few womanizer. more on his bum by the end of the X Factor I, I think so um, so 13 to 2 to go the favourite is indeed Sammy at 3 to 1 the Jay McDonald cruise ship singer kind of style she's yeah. a big voice but she's really boring she's a bit like maybe last year's Mary Bourne she's a young Mary Bourne she's a young Mary That's Bourne but yes but listen Mary got on tour with Neil Diamond yeah she maybe did. Sammy could get on tour with, with Jane McDonald <laughs> with Jane ships. McDonald who knows so second favourites you have campest man uh, ever Johnny Robinson I have I to say something to him. you now I must say something here Johnny what a voice the man has, but Louis is dressing him up like, uh, I don't know what. He's making him into a total circus act. Yes. Okay. I'm Louis, get your act together, pal. It's not good enough. <laughs> He's five to one to go, but Johnny, I don't know, his voice just seems out of body. It doesn't seem like it belongs to him. Um, well, and I don't like the sound of it. Yeah, Some people let's do. be honest, it kind of sounds almost... Like a female voice. But yeah, he can oh, yeah. really hit those high notes. He hits the notes and he's got Gary inside saying as he's going to rub his lamp any time as he yeah. said on the X Factor. Wow, Gary, I'm sure you're looking forward to that one. <laughs> we could be doing odds on <laughs> Johnny, Gary, a fair behind the scenes. But yeah, anyway, and I, what about this clean. girl, Kitty? Um, she is eccentric. Yeah. She is totally off the rocker. But... She's got quite a good voice. Yeah, I think we're going to see Kitty for quite a while. Um, she's not one of the... She's an outsider to go this weekend. In fact, her odds to actually win it have been cut. She was a massive prize. You can get her about 40 to 1 now to win the show. She's not liked enough. To, you know, okay. She's got that drama queen thing going on. Yeah. People aren't going to like her. Right, Nicola, you've already gone for Frankie to be kicked off. And I think that's a great bet at 13 to 2. Represents cracking value. Let's have a look at the outright market. Our own little Janet... Uh, from Tyrone she just seems to be getting stronger and stronger and stronger as the competition goes by she went from Coldplay she did an Elvis track last week but her odds have drifted slightly yeah there was a bit of a shake up in the betting Janet's now out to 11-4 to and it's the boy band The Risk who have taken the top spot at 2-1 wow. to one. they did a brilliant job they sang amazing the harmonies etc they're all they're just really tight and they just seem like they've been a band forever but you know who I think deserves to be the favourite? Misha B, yeah. 9 to 2. But you know what I think the problem is with Misha B? I think she already looks like a superstar. Yeah. And you know what the X Factor is always trying to do? They're trying to mould someone into becoming a superstar. Yeah. I don't think either of us disagree that Misha B will have a career after the X yeah. Factor, no matter what happens. As Gary um, rightly said, she looked like one of the con you know singers that came on on a Sunday yeah, night. instead of a contestant. Yeah, I think people prefer to watch somebody progress as yeah. the show goes on yeah. and warm to them. So, finally, going to put you on the spot. Who's going to win this year's X Factor? Now, I know she's going to change it for the next 10 weeks, so I it doesn't know, really it's, matter. It's, do you know what? It's really Who early days, and usually I have a set person I think is going to win. But this year, it's just wide open, I think. Oh, you really have put me on the spot. Well, I'm, I'm going to go with the risk. I'm, I'm sticking with Misha B. Even though she looks like a superstar, she is a superstar. The way she sings these songs, she can rap, she can hit high notes, low notes. Yeah. I think she's got it all. Yeah. But McGeady, going for the risk. Blanche, going for Misha B. You know how to listen to it. I've been right every <laughs> year. <laughs>